What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongware and today's video is a very interesting video and I just want to first off by saying that I'm not criticizing any channel from this video at all. It's just a trend that I've seen over this course of this year watching videos, you know, different people that I'm subscribed to. So let's talk about is the YouTube lawn care space or otherwise known as lawn tube going down the tubes. So let's get started. So just a FYI, it's getting darker here in Jersey, quicker. So I had to film this at nighttime. I got my Halloween lights on. If you are interested in seeing a permanent LED setup that I have right here on my house, go check out the video link below. It's an awesome thing, permanent LED lighting. I think really, if you're somewhat good, if you're somewhat good DIY or good with electric, anybody can do it. So go check out that video. But getting back to today's video, lawn tube, YouTube space. I, wait until you see these these numbers guys i i spent the course of a couple nights ago i spent probably a good three four hours i know it sounds like a long time but three four hours to put these numbers together because i've noticed over the course of this year and in person and this has happened to me too this is just not to these people as well and i'm gonna leave their names out of it out of this i'm not gonna put your the the, the actual channel names up there i'm just gonna put up the the numbers the facts guys these view counts are straight from their youtube pages uh this is nothing i made up you can figure it out on your own if you wanted to very simple process and and again these are all videos these are not live streams or anything like that there is two uh channels that i did look at that they are uh, podcast based um so those are a little bit different but for the majority of everybody i didn't include shorts i'm going to talk about shorts here in a second once we look at the numbers here i looked at straight videos that like i'm doing right now on people's pages and got those views to come up with these facts i'm going to throw the numbers up here on the on the screen here in a second but these numbers they're based off of channels that have been around for three years there's a couple channels on here there are 11 channels total that i looked at and they have a wide range of again different audiences but these 11 i would say i would consider them the big 11 if you could say uh you know like in accounting there's the big four accounting firms i would i would call these the big 11 um and again two of them only been around for two years but they do have a big audience um but again these numbers are i mean when you look at these numbers they are surprising so as you can see 2020 big jump obviously 8 million 8.6 million views out of all 11 and then 2021 it dips down there and i believe that's you know i i i hate to bring this up but it, i think it's due to the pandemic people you know at, at, we're at home in 2020 watching more tv watching different streaming platforms and i think the numbers were up and then as you can see here in 2021 it dips down here to 6.79 million and then in 2022, we're all the way down to 3.5 million views out of that 11 channel total. So that is a difference, percentage difference of 48%, almost 50% drop in views. I mean, when I looked at that, I, I, I was like, I was shocked. I, I didn't realize it was going to be that much of a drop. I mean, 50% viewership going down. That's a lot. I mean... A lot of companies would probably fold if that was, you know, 50% drop in sales or anything, gross profit margin, anything, 50% drop. That's, that's a lot. And I was just really surprised because honestly, these are all channels that I watch. I mean, I watch pretty much every one of these channels, uh, give or take one or two. I might not watch every thing they put out, but yeah, it's very surprising. And then I'm gonna throw up this chart as well. And again, I'm gonna blurt out the names. I don't, I'm not trying to single out any one channel because as you could see guys, this is across the board. I mean, every channel that I looked at pretty much dropped. And I mean, you could see there, I mean, it's, I mean, some of these, obviously, like I said, uh, two of the channels have only been around for obviously two years. So I couldn't go back to 2020, but even in their two year difference there between 2021 and 2022, Again, I mean, a huge drop. And this gets me back to talking about the YouTube Shorts because I didn't count YouTube Short views in this view count. So YouTube Shorts, it's only been around for, you know, the last year or so now, and it's gotten bigger and bigger. And honestly, YouTube Shorts has really helped my channel. Uh, it's 
I've grown substantially in subscribers and and again all of these channels their subscriber base went up you know if it didn't go down it went up and including myself I'm, I include myself in this video as well I've seen my subscriber base go from almost a little over a thousand this time last year to almost seven thousand at this point and honestly my views are down and my short videos or my shorts are way up I've seen a couple shorts now hit a million or two million now and I feel like in this day and age, that's what we're going to. We're going towards that short and to the point videos. So obviously there's TikTok out there. I'm on TikTok, Instagram's out there. They have their reels. And now YouTube, they have their shorts. And obviously YouTube shorts, you have to be with under a minute to upload the video. And so you have to get to the point to your videos. You have to get it out there. So your audience out there, they know what you're talking about right away. They don't have to watch a 10, 15 minute YouTube video. Uh, if you can get it in within a minute, I mean, it's really hard to get something very complex within a minute of a video unless you're doing some funny kind of skit or something like that. And that's generally like how my YouTube shorts and my TikTok videos are geared towards are more of a comedy or, you know, just some sort of laughter or something. It's not super serious, but we're going to that day and age, you know, where, you know, that younger generation is getting younger. The millennials, you know, we're, I'm, I'm a, I'm a millennial. I'll admit it, you know, and we're getting older. And to be honest with you, I think those attention spans for, of those kind of people or including myself, we have short attention spans. And I just think that, you know, we're going towards that and you're going to see these shorts. You're going to see these reels. You're going to see these TikTok videos become more and more popular because that's what the audience out there wants. So if you're starting a YouTube channel at home, I don't wanna discourage you from you know starting a channel, but if you are gonna start a channel, a couple things that I've noticed this year is I'm trying to keep my videos within 10 minutes. I just, like I said, I talked about that attention span. I feel like, you know, if you're on camera just like I am now and you're rambling, 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 and people are just like, okay, get to the point, Joe. What are you trying to talk about? Unless there's people out there that like those kind of vlogs or those blogs and things like that and they just like a story and then you know they, they, they tend to you know subscribe to those channels for that reason but when you guys see these channels with these subscriber counts that are 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 it's not all about the subscribers guys like I like I said myself I've seen I have almost 7,000 subscribers and my view counts have gone down and you don't if just an fyi if i mean everyone probably knows this at this point but once you get monetized on youtube you get paid off of view counts or watch times and things like that you're not getting paid on subscribers so if you have 10,000 subscribers but you only have 500 views on it on a video that's all you're getting paid on you're not getting paid off of that 10,000 subscribers so that's why when you do your content and i think about my content you know you want to if whatever kind of audience you are going after or you're talking to i mean that's that's what you have to appeal to and and those numbers again i'm gonna throw them up here again i mean they are 50 percent drop from year from last year to this year from 2021 to 2022 i mean that's a huge drop and again i don't know if that's you know people i you know we i talked about it earlier the pandemic people you know getting out of their house more they're not stuck in their house you know they're they're doing things not maybe not in their yard anymore they're going on vacations they're doing different things maybe they don't want to spend money on their lawn anymore and they want to spend it on different areas of their yard or or just in life in general but again the lawn tube the the uh youtube space you know there i mean it's a drop so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, all these numbers are completely fact-based, literally, and I mean literally, anybody can do what I did. I went to each one of these channels, just went to their videos and counted up the views. I scrolled down and literally just count the views. And I included myself, like I said, in these views. And you could see here, I mean, it's, I think, and personally, and I hope, I want you guys to comment below. I think it's a trend. I think, you know, people are either losing their attention span, like I talked about earlier, or they're going to a different format of getting their content. So please, I want everyone, please comment below. Let me know what you think about what I showed you today, all those numbers that I showed you, comment below, and let me know your thoughts.
If you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And again, guys, if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.